In this video, we're going to talk about osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is when you have uh, very porous bones. Osteos bones, porous, lots of holes in your bones, not a lot of calcium. They're not solid bones. They're not a, a, a full all the way through calcium. You got holes in them and deposits uh, or, or openings. And so this makes them very brittle and puts you at very high risk for developing fractures. So uh, with osteoporosis, osteopenia is the precursor, okay? Osteoporosis is the big bad boy diagnosis. Osteopenia just means for your height and weight and for your age and your sex that you uh, don't have enough calcium. And then this is uh, dangerously low. So what are some risk factors for not having enough calcium in your bones and developing osteoporosis? Uh, being a female, and especially if you're uh, um, a white female with uh, very thin extremities and you're very uh, uh, slender, uh, that's a big risk factor there. Uh, your diet that's low in calcium and vitamin D, so you don't, you're not getting enough calcium in your diet. And you're eating, uh, drinking lots of caffeine and alcohol and smoking, this can also put you at risk for osteoporosis. Age, uh, your, it, the peak years for holding on the calcium is from 18 to 30. And from then on, you're slowly losing calcium. And so with age, uh, you're more likely to have lost more calcium. And two medicines I want to point out here. Steroids, uh, long-term steroids, uh, such as prednisone for, say, a COPD patient or a patient with some sort of autoimmune disorder. Um, and then anti-epileptics, such as phenytoin, so someone that has a seizure disorder and epilepsy and they're taking chronic long-term seizure medicines. Both of these medicines could lead to osteoporosis. So how do you know you have osteoporosis? Well, you have a history of fractures. You keep coming in with a broken hip, broken arm, you're breaking bones very easily. Also, uh, you can have uh, other signs and symptoms. You can uh, become shorter. You're losing height and that's because your spinal column is collapsing on itself and various bones are shrinking and collapsing down. You can also have bone pain and uh, this could be at your wrist, this could be at your back. Every time you bend down to pick something up, you just can't hold it and your bones start hurting. And then you have kyphosis. What this is, is uh, you see the old person who's got the really extreme arched back. Um, that arched back is because the bones are so weak and brittle and it causes something called kyphosis. So diagnosis, they notice you have lots of uh, fractures and you have a lot of risk factors. And so what you can do to see how bad it is is they'll do a dual x-ray absorptionometry. And what this does is they can do x-rays on the bones to see how much bone density is in there and how much is porous because of osteoporosis. So what is treatment for uh, osteoporosis. Well, calcium and vitamin D for sure. Make sure they have that in the diet. Make sure you get sun exposure because when you're exposed to the sun, your skin uh, and the vitamin D react to help it to work better for you. Uh, exercise, weight-bearing exercise, five diet, five, three to five times a week. Making sure you, uh, you're lifting weights and doing exercise to uh, because the, um, the pressure on your bones when you're lifting weights tells it, hey, I need to grow stronger. Limiting caffeine, smoke, and alcohol because this will decrease your calcium and vitamin D absorption. And some medicines I want to point out here is calcitonin. Uh, what this will do is it tells the body, hey, we need more calcium in our bones. And then for women, uh, they can get estrogen. And because when their estrogen level drops, it also affects the hormones throughout the body to lead to osteoporosis. So for older women that have are, uh, post -menopause, or that are menopause, estrogen can help. So this is osteoporosis.